right, now that we know what Machinima is, let's take a look at the simple script we have here. We have two characters talking with each other. One is on a computer screen, one sitting at a desk looking at the computer screen. Great thing about doing previs is that we, instead of having to waste everybody's time while you're on set, setting up your camera, setting up lighting, all that, you can actually get right in, get your camera angles worked out, you can print off yourself a storyboard, or look at an animatic and show it to your actors while you're in there trying to help them understand what it is that you're looking for. We have some dialogue, we have the characters. Let's jump right in and start making the set here. We need to build a couple walls here uh, to emphasize the sci-fi kind of epic uh, enclosure. It's very claustrophobic, so I have a couple props here that we're going to use. Let me search for them. So here we have our sci-fi walls here that we're going to use just to create the set. Let's just uh, start plopping them in here. We're going to create a little office. If you're doing it for previs, it doesn't have to be very professional looking, unless you're using it as a uh, proof of concept that you're trying to submit to a studio. And another great thing when it comes to building sets is that you usually don't have to build the entire set, only a small portion of it. And uh, that's very true with any Hollywood production that you're having to build sets with. All right, so now all we got to do here is we got to change the floor color. So let's add some industrial metal flooring. Now let's add a little desk lamp create some lighting scenarios in here. Now that I got the set built, we got the all the walls there. Let's go back to the script, make sure we got everything in there. So we have a computer screen, so we got the desk with the computer screen, and then we have Nick's father is going to appear on the screen, but that's going to be done later in an effect. So we need to go in there to the screen and actually change the screen color, so that way when we go back and place the actor's face on the screen, it could be easily done in post-production. So let's go back to Movie Storm here. We don't want this here, so we're going to change the image. All right, now we've changed that screen green, so that way when we, after we get everything done and we render, we can go into After Effects and take out the green and add another video feed of the father talking with the main actor. So let's just go back to the script here, make sure we got everything. Um, we have the next quarters, it's a beta station, so we know it's science fiction. If you read ahead, it's a science fiction, it takes place inside of an underwater containment facility. So we got that look. I added a desk lamp just to add some ambient light. And now we are ready, I think, to move on to the characters themselves. All right, now that we got the set built and everything's according to the script, let's go ahead and just create our character. And we'll click on the character tab. And we're going to use this uh, white male base as the main character. Uh, we'll just start with the head here. Um, first off, we're going to get rid of this hair because according to the director, we want him to have a short hair, um, kind of styled. So let's take a look through the hair uh, presets here. This one's looking good. We don't want this fro here. He wants it very, uh, very combed. That looks pretty good. Now we need to change the hair color because according to the director, it needs to have a tint of red into it. That's looking good. Now the eyebrows need to be changed in order to match the hair. The hair. So, all right. So let's change their color too. So we'll click on the color tab, and here we can actually change the color. And let's just try to make it look somewhat like the hair. All right. Now his skin's a little pale, so we're gonna go into the skin tab and uh, choose a different skin color. That's a little too, there we go, that's actually kind of perfect. We need to add some skin detail because according to the director we need to, he needs to have a little bit of freckles on. So I'm going to add just a small layer of freckles and you can barely see it, but if I toggle it on and off you may be able to see it. Let's add just another layer there. So these two will add some freckles to give it a little the skin a little bit more life. Alright now that we've got uh, his face good let's go ahead and jump into the wardrobe and get him dressed.